friends. Welcome back to Frosty Eye Candy. So as usual, I'm gonna jump in and show you the dried and resin results. I mean, you saw the little videos, clips at the beginning. So you know it dried nicely, but here you go. Real time, real life as such. Uh, it dried beautifully and solid coat of res resin on it. It's really letting those little piggies sing here. So there we go, the kitchen sink pour. So for those of you who might not know what a kitchen sink pour is, it's basically when you have a few or lots of mixed up paints and you decide to use them all together and you literally just throw everything you have mixed up at the canvas, so all different colors, and uh, then you can use whatever te technique you like, but it's just the process of using up whatever you've got left so you can start again fresh is what we call a kitchen sink pour. But anyway, uh, these are the colors that I had mixed up and threw at it. I had uh, quite a lot of brulee, which is, um, here we go, uh, beautiful pigment from TLP. It's kind of like a interference orange or an interference kind of copper if you will. It's very pretty and you'll see me throw a lot of this down first. And then next after that, and here I'm gonna hold them up together so the contrasts. <laughs> after that, I throw lots of this grunge down. Now I had about maybe an ounce and a half of grunge mixed up. So you'll see me put this down on top of that. Uh, and then you'll see me throw some of this one, Athena. There we go. Beautiful kind of rose gold. Uh, and then you will see me throw uh, some of blue eyes at the canvas as well. So we've kind of got, let me hold them properly. Da, 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 da. Holding the pigs properly. <laughs> so here we go. There's the kind of color palette, okay guys? And uh, yes, you'll see me throw some more of this um, grunge and some brulee in on top, but you'll notice how I put the color down. I don't put it all down on one side and just leave it there. I virtually try to cover the whole canvas and all of the pillow with the leftover paints. And then I swipe with the Shelly Art recipe for a cell activator, which is Australian Flow Troll. And one of my favorites, I use Prussian Blue rather than black because uh, black can be a little bit severe. Uh, and I find Prussian Blue is the perfect alternative. Okay then, my friends, chitty chat, chitty chat, chat. Let's stop waffling. We'll get the camera pointing down and we'll start to throw some paint around. Okay then, my friends, time for the voiceover part. And I should tell you that that's an eight by 10 canvas. And I guess we put down maybe six ounces of the Glidden Premium in white satin for my pillow. And the first color you can see me putting down there, that's the TLP Brulee. Gorgeous kind of interference copper or interference orange. It's a beautiful color and I couldn't bring myself to throw it away. And I had to really force myself to do this because when I was looking at the colors that I wanted to use up in the kitchen sink pour, when I saw the contrast between the Brulee and then the TLP grunge, I was very hesitant to do it, but I just thought, no, go for it. This is the kitchen sink pour, and we'll see how this one turns out. It's ever so funny how when you use this technique and just throw everything you've got at the canvas, I don't want to jinx myself for future kitchen pours, kitchen sink pours, but um, they usually come out surprisingly well and, and really do surprise you of how they come out because you know, you haven't thought that much about the color combo or the palette. You're just throwing all of these colors at the canvas. And um, more often than not, you're pre pleasantly surprised with a lovely result. So, excuse my waffling. That was uh, a load of Athena that I threw down there now. And then I didn't have much of this one. This is the TLP Blue Eyes. So kind of being a little bit sparingly with this one so we can try and get it a little bit of it all over the canvas before we swipe it but you'll see that I then go back to the brulee, I think now, and then throw some more of the grunge at it. And uh, it really looks like quite a mess when you look at the canvas. Um, but again, when you swipe it and after you spin it, you can never judge it until you've spun it out or tipped the excess paint off. Uh, but yeah, from the pictures at the beginning of the video, I'm sure you'd agree she came out really quite pretty. So there we go. As I said, there's more of the brulee going down now. <laughs> really scraping it out using the last bits because again with these lovely pigments I just can't 
bear to throw them away. So I just leave them in their pots and when I go to use them, uh, if they've thickened up quite a lot, I just add a few drops of water and uh, that will get them that will get them moving again. And uh, as I said, you can be pleasantly surprised with how these kind of uh, kitchen sink pours come out. But you'll notice that I'm just putting them, as I said in the intro, putting the color all over the canvas and then swiping across them all. So we get a really nice mi mix of them all. And again, I'm sure you'd agree, we did achieve a really nice mix of all these colors uh, with the dominant color being the grunge, but it didn't overpower the other colors, the Athena or the blue eyes or the brulee. Um, they really just added to it and we got that fantastic stained glass effect. So while we're waiting for me to put these last little bits of pigment down, I'd love to tell you about our live Sunday show, The Joy of Pouring. It's on my uh, YouTube channel, which is the one you are watching right now with this video. It's every Sunday at a new time of 1 p.m. So that's 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time if you're on the uh, west coast of North America. That'll be 3 p.m. Central Time and it'll be 4 p.m. on the east coast of North America. And I believe that's around about 9 o'clock for the UK and 10 o'clock uh, for Europe. So please join us live every Sunday, the joy of pouring. So I'm just scraping out the last little bits of paint here, trying to get the canvas covered as best I can. And I'm sure you would agree again, it's looking a real hideous mess. Those colors are looking like they are not going to jive at all to me. Uh, so I had, had very low expectations for this piece. And I guess um, the, this all aids to it coming out very pleasingly indeed. So we're using the uh, large swiping tool, the cake kind of icing tool as such. And I'm just spreading a nice thin layer of uh, here we go, guys, just to show you. Spreading just a thin layer of the Shelly Art Recipe Cell Activator. If you'd like to know what Shelly Art is, it's an online acrylic pouring course that I highly recommend. I've taken myself and many of the people that I follow and admire have also taken the course. And I even have a 15% discount code that I shall put on the screen right now. So in we go for the swipe, my friends actually did it really nicely, just glided across all of the colors and got a lovely covering of the Prussian blue cell activator. So a little double time video watching those cells come up super quick. And we can already kind of see that lovely blur of uh, the blue of the blue eyes in the middle of the piece right there. And as I always say, kind of look at two thirds of the canvas in that's uh, what you're actually going to have the paint expand to and that's what you're going to end up with. So kind of two thirds of the size uh, in from the edge of the canvas because everything along the edge is going to get spun off. So for those watching for the first time or that don't know what I'm doing here, it's called wetting the edges. Uh, I just wet, get a little bit of the pillow paint or the color, wet the edges of the canvas because when we spin it, this helps the paint maintain, uh, stick to the edge of the canvas and flow over the edge down onto the board nicely. And we can contain the mess on the silicone pouring mat that you can see I'm using right there. So, looking pretty good, in for the first spin. Also for people watching for the first time and learning, I leave my spins in real time so you can see how long and how fast I spin for. This is quite crucial for me, I believe. I love giving it a little bit longer time just so you give the paint a good chance to make it to the edge of the canvas and flow over nicely. As you can see, it has all the way around really beautifully. So then we go for a nice little close up here, looking really nice, surprisingly nice. And I'm really loving the fade of the brulee, the blue eyes and the Athena in with the grunge. It's just worked really surprisingly well. And even if I do say so myself, it looks pretty good. 
So if you haven't already, my friends, I'd love to remind you to subscribe, to interact. You can interact in the live chat for the premieres with Free Lesson Wednesday, and you'll be able to interact in the live chat for the JOP, Joy of Pouring Sunday live show. Uh, yes, please subscribe to interact. You can like and then leave comments on my video. And uh, you can also hit the thumbs up button, which I would love you to do, because the more people that press the thumbs up button and like the video, the more likely Facetube, <laughs> Facetube, the more likely YouTube is to recommend my videos to other people that hadn't seen them before. So again, please subscribe, like, and share my videos, my friends. Help get the word out there about Frosty Eye Candy. If you like this piece, uh, it is for sale and will be uh, on the online store in my Facebook page. Please go to that, search Facebook Frosty Eye Candy and you'll see a shop tab. But there you go, my friends. Thank you so much for joining me as always. Please like, share and subscribe. And as always, happy pouring.